Hello everyone, welcome to Brown Struggle in Canada and today we are taking you to Toronto's one of the most famous attractions, Ripley's Aquarium. It is Canada's largest indoor aquarium so you can guess how busy it would be all the time. And unsurprisingly, when we visited, the tickets were all sold out for that day. We booked our tickets online in advance and we suggest you do the same to avoid any disappointments. As with all the places, proof of vaccination is required here as well. And as you enter further into the aquarium, you come to the waters of the world wall. Now here you find about the different sections that are to come ahead in the aquarium. The first thing that caught my eye was this giant pool of small fish. Here the fish were swimming so elegantly, it's absolutely beautiful. And as we entered into the first section, which was the Canadian waters, we got to see some really interesting fish here. It was very interesting to see that all of these Canadian fishes had a very matte color as they were swimming in such a vibrant pond. Moving further on, we were now walking through the Great Lakes Basin. We also found out about the different layers of the ocean and it was interesting to see how expansive the sea life is. There were some very intriguing fish there. Some flat fish that actually swam horizontally and also some very, very deep water fish as well. Up next was the kelp forest which has this huge glass tank with a forest of brown algae seaweed growing all around it. It was extremely soothing to look at. A little further down in the same section there were these incredibly beautiful and colorful sea anemones which are also known as the sea flowers. Right after the kelp forest was my favorite section of the aquarium, which is the Rainbow Reef. Often considered as the rainforest of the sea, this area is full with the Indo Pacific fishes. Now, this is a very vibrant area. Every fish here is a treat for the eyes, a joy to look at, and they're just swimming so harmoniously with each other floating around with the colorful corals. Now after B's favorite area, it was time for my favorite area, which is the dangerous lagoon. Now this area, quite opposite to giving a relief to your eyes, is actually something to amaze you, something to be awed by, something to wonder how something like this can exist inside a man-made aquarium. Like everyone else, the first question that popped into my head was why these sharks are not eating the fish in the same tank. And of course, I googled it. And I was surprised to find out that sharks have a very slow metabolism and if they are fed on time, they don't feel the need to eat anything else. Now this is the largest exhibit of the entire aquarium and probably the busiest too. Right after that was the shark reef and there was a tunnel for the kids to crawl and see the sharks up close. And oh well, one of the dads also decided to get in there with their kid. At this point we have completed half of the aquarium and at this point you find some really nice small aquariums with some Nemo fishes swimming around. You also have your cafe here, you have the washrooms and you freshen up to continue to see the rest of the aquarium. After fueling up, it was time to see the gallery. Now the gallery shows us the living reef of the world. It has some really interesting fish, some of them are the puffer fish and the angler and the eel. These are really, really interesting fish with really interesting models right beside them. You also get to see some horseshoes and a really cool squid-like, very, very tiny fish. There's also a shipwreck section which shows about the Great Lakes, some fishes 
based around those ecosystems. It's really interesting to see this section with miniature fishes going around in a very theme stylized kind of setup. And right before the ray bay, we saw these unique piranhas. These fish had this beautiful orangish red color around their belly and it made us wonder how beautiful the nature is. In the ray bay, there was a huge observation window from where you can see these beautiful friendly rays. It was so nice to see them swimming up close with so much elegance. Now this tank is open from above and you can actually touch these rays and pet them but that section will come later in the video. And we also couldn't help but notice this cute little hammerhead shark that was swimming among these rays. After admiring these beautiful rays, it was time to go to the next section which was the planet jellies. We also found out that these jellyfish are kept in a special chrysal tanks which has no corners and there are no bubbles because these jellyfish are so fragile that they can even get hurt by a water bubble. For me, this was a very serene section. Watching these simple creatures actually brings you back to the very basics. You sit there, you look at them floating around and it's a very, very meditative experience. You also find out about their life cycles and you get to see the different forms of jellyfish around the world. Overall, this is definitely one of the most interesting sections. Almost looks like videos played on screens. That's how smooth the motions of jellyfish are. Here we had now reached the life support system center and this was really interesting to see. You could see the different pipelines that the water was being regulated in as per the temperature, as per the impurities and there was mineral being added back to the water. This was really greatly explained by these working models and after seeing this it was time to head to the next section. People here were trying to touch the stingrays they would actually come to you and do get petted themselves. It's a really interesting place. You also have the cargo hold gift shop here, which gives you a chance to buy a souvenir or pick up a gift or two for your friends from here. And at this point, we come to the end of the aquarium with a big pool of fish around. This is a full loop back to the entrance and what a memorable experience this was. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so we can keep making these travel videos for you.